Hello everyone, welcome to Arn Academy Future Doctors. Am I audible and visible? Let me know. Then we'll start our topic. Uh, am I audible and visible? My audio. Okay. Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to On Academy Future Doctors. In this channel, we are posting videos for first MBBS exam students, the first MBBS students. So uh, if anyone in your friends or family or your group who has given neat UG exam and waiting for the admission in MBBS, nursing, physiotherapy and homeopathy. So please share these videos as well as ask the person to subscribe our channel on Academy Future Doctors. This will be very much benefited to them. Okay. Now, let me introduce myself. I myself, Dr. Deepthi Garia. I'm MD, PhD Physiology. I'm a associate professor and educating MBBS, physiotherapy, nursing and MD students. I have more than 17 years of teaching experience. Let me explain in brief about our subscription. We have two kinds of subscription. One that is plus subscription. Here you can choose the best from the best. Here you can access both live as well as recorded classes. You can study on the device of your choice. You can learn from India's top educators for your medical exams. You can access question bank which is having more than 25,000 questions. You can compete in the live test as well as quizzes. And within 12 months we are coming with our printed notes. Okay. Now, next is the iconic subscription here. Your access to the best from two of the best. Sorry. Here, uh, we have two options. One that is on academy and prep ladder with on academy in which you can have well-structured live batches. You can have recorded classes which covers your full syllabus. Will provide you question bank which is having more than 25,000 questions. Will give you competitive live test as well as quizzes comprehensive printed and digital notes and second one that is on academy and prep ladder with prep ladder here you can have clinical and integrated essentials video lectures from dream team cushion bank 3 with active guidance will provide you rapid revision and snapshots treasures in 2021 dream notes we also have added certain features in our special class here we make the class interactive and live you can attend live class as well as you can participate in live chat and get your doubts clear. You can raise a hand. You can talk to your educators in live class. Also, you can poll for the learner too. You can never miss a class as you always get notification. You always get notified for your class. Also, you can download your lecture notes. You can download PDF as well as from recorded lectures you can make your own notes and you can access at anywhere and at any time now next is we also have updated and highly effective question bank our question bank is having more than 25,000 high yield clinical questions which are based on latest exam pattern which includes detailed explanation too these are our neat pg september 2021 toppers this is our schedule for the exam. You can see here we can provide you free test rituals as well as plus batch test rituals. Also, we have started our, our Yuvraj. Hello. Mm, welcome. Welcome to my class. Uh, also, you can have uh, this Focus FMGE 2022 com comprehensive batch that is started from 15th December 2021 that is for six months second that is target need PG 2022 test and discussion batch that also has been started from 15 December and that is for three months okay you can subscribe from your mobile you can use my code here for three days we have an offer you can use my code and you can get 22 percent discount instead of 10 percent discount so if you wish to subscribe you can subscribe you will get 22 percent discount okay now let us come to today's topic. Before that, again, I would like to tell all of you that please, if you have anyone in your family or friend or junior that 
who has given neat ug and waiting for the admission in mbbs nursing physiotherapy and homeopathy please share this video with them as well as ask the person to subscribe our channel this all videos we are posting on the youtube they are free to access okay so that that will be very much beneficial to all okay yuvraj ma'am you were telling yesterday about book can you tell books that are exam oriented okay uh yuvraj i told you ha huh, about books indian author books if at present you want to purchase you can purchase two books i can say one is indu khurana that is your textbook for physiology either indu khurana or ak jain this indu khurana has given detailed discrimination detailed uh, uh you can say a uh, description of everything okay and if you wish to purchase notes i have my own physiology notes that is available on flipkart so for notes also you can purchase the name of the book is physiology notes okay so that is physiology notes you can search on flipkart you get both the books okay so this books normally most of the students from gujarat medical colleges all over india also this books are standard books textbook as well as notes you can purchase any of them am i clear okay now let us start today's topic another important announcement that i would like to tell you is uh please watch this video till end because at the end of the video i'll ask 10 questions if you have watched this video properly you can definitely be able to answer all these questions hmm? that improves your learning power because always that's my experience always at the end of topic if you uh try to crack question answer then it enhances your topic it enhances your retention power okay now let us start so today's topic is neuromuscular junction so before that sir let me start with basic thing one that is okay welcome hmm. now basic thing is human cell what is the definition of cell as we all know cell is structural and functional unit of thing hello welcome to my class hmm. so cell is the structural and functional unit of living organism that is cell you can make your notes running notes with this class also so at the end of class when i ask you question you can have all these answers okay this is my clue hmm? so whatever i am writing you can also write along with me okay so that is a good thing you can make this habit that will be very much beneficial for you in your uh, future classes okay so if you are making notes two benefits are there one that you are gaining knowledge more because you are writing it second thing you don't fall asleep neend nahi aa jayegi nahi to kya neend aa jati hai continuously sunte rehte to theek hai so human cell theek hai second thing is tissue now what is tissue tissue is i think this things has been covered in your uh, 12th standard okay just i am revising because we are starting our physiology so we must have to start with the basic thing okay so cell is the structural and functional unit of living organism tissue that is group of cells having same functions group of cells having same function okay that is tissue okay there are four types of primary tissue one that is uh, are these sessions daily yes yeah, seeing uh, daily hmm? please be regular in my class hmm? and you will be benefited that's my promise hmm. so now so there are four types of primary tissue one that is muscle tissue second nervous tissue third connective tissue and epithelial tissue, tissue. i think you must have learned all those things in your 12th standard okay so there are four primary tissues now third thing is what is organ you can see here these are cells cells they work together to form tissue now this tissue two or more primary tissues they work together to form organ like suppose in stomach we have two tissues number one that is epithelium epithelial tissue and second that is muscle tissue so you can say this from four primary tissues any two tissues minimum two more than that also may be there they work together to form organ 
ओके मैम आई वॉज सर्चिंग फॉर अ चैनल लाइक दिस थैंक यू सो मच ओके वेरी नाइस यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू आर चैनल एंड यू कैन वॉच आर वीडियोज ऑल दिस वीडियोज आर फ्री टू एक्सेस प्लीज वॉच ऑल दोज वीडियोज एज वेल एज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो वी जस्ट वॉन्ट मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट टू द स्टूडेंट दिस इज जस्ट फॉर योर बेनिफिट वी आर रनिंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर यू पीपल ओनली ओके लेट इज कंटिन्यू दिस इज ऑर्गन देन थर्ड इज सिस्टम नाउ यू कैन सी all these organs stomach intestine all this they work together to form a system so this is our basic thing we are we have just we have started you are very lucky that you are joined us today we are starting our batch today so now today's topic that is neuromuscular junction okay what is this neuromuscular junction that is the junction between nerve and muscle okay so as we all know that excitable tissue muscle and nerve they are excitable tissue in our body so excitable tissue means when you are stimulating either nerve or muscle action potential is produced this action potential is generated and that produces chemical as well as mechanical changes hmm? stimulation excitation contraction okay so this is also known as contractile tissue okay this one now there are three different types of muscle mainly i think all of you are knowing skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and smooth muscles okay so now this muscles they are classified by three ways number one depending on absence or presence of striations striations are there absent or present second depending on the control whether they are voluntary or involuntary and depending on the function so let us do this classification one that is depending on the striation if striations are present then the muscle is known as striated muscles you can see here cross striations you can see this one these are they are present at regular interval dr tushar okay welcome welcome to our channel hmm. now so cross striations are there they are seen under light microscope this is this is important thing under light microscope also you can watch this striation okay these are present in your skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscles you can see these are not very well developed very well visible in the cardiac muscle but they are present so our skeletal and cardiac muscle they are striated muscles okay second non striated muscles which are also known as plain muscle because of absence of striation which are plain muscle smooth muscles okay so this is first classification second classification depending on the control as we all know voluntary control voluntary muscle because they are under our will under our will so they are voluntary control why are they are under our will because they are supplied by somatic nerve okay and example is skeletal muscle okay you can see if suppose i i ask you to raise your hand you can raise your hand how because <clears throat> we have skeletal muscle and the skeletal muscles are supplied by somatic nerve which is voluntary okay second thing that is second type of muscles they are involuntary involuntary means they cannot be controlled by our will for example our smooth muscles like in the intestine suppose if you have pain in your stomach or intestine and if i ask you to stop your pain is it possible no so they are involuntary second are cardiac muscles are also involuntary how can you say that cardiac muscles are involuntary suppose if i ask you to increase or decrease your heart rate can you no not directly but indirectly suppose if i ask you to increase your heart rate then you run for a while and your heart rate increases but not by sitting here you cannot increase your heart rate so these are involuntary muscles okay now so this is second classification first classification that is depending on striation second that is depending on the control third classification that is depending on the functions as we all know skeletal muscles they are related with the contraction of the body parts movement 
by because they are attached with the bones second cardiac muscles they are important for cardiac activity and smooth muscles are important for activity of various viscera's okay so this is classification now we come to a topic that is neuromuscular junction now what is neuromuscular junction another name for this neuromuscular junction is myoneural junction also so the question may be neuromuscular junction or myoneural junction <clears throat> okay now so as we all know skeletal muscles they are innervated by somatic nerve somatic nerves they are also known as motor nerves okay this motor nerves they are, they originate from your spinal cord i think all of you are knowing this is your suppose this is your spinal cord this one okay in the spinal cord we have this anterior horn cell from which this anterior alpha motor neuron it starts okay this alpha motor neuron this is your alpha motor neuron which supplies muscle so the junction between this neuron and our muscle that is our neuromuscular junction so junction between terminal branch of nerve fiber and this terminal branch is known as this branch terminal branch is known as hmm, it is known as motor neuron okay and muscle fiber that is known as sorry let me sorry this just a minute and mem i let me silent my mobile that is distracting the people so just a minute so here is our sorry so what happens here now action potential is transmitted from this nerve to our muscle fiber this nerve ending is known as motor neuron hmm uh pdf uh i think it is not possible because i don't have that much knowledge of uh, this internet and all uh i can tell you you can purchase the book things are given nicely in the book as well as along with that you can watch this video in live class we don't have facility to provide pdf for special classes we have the facility to upload our pdfs okay hmm? as in the beginning of video i have talked about physiology notes you can purchase the book that is available okay all these things you can find so now we'll discuss action potential which is generated here it is transmitted to the muscle okay now so what is the structure here again this is motor neuron you can see here and this is muscle fiber okay now so this neuromuscular junction it is the part where your neuronal membrane and this is neuronal membrane and this sarcolemma both they come in close contact with each other another important thing here is there is no anatomical continuity means they are not continuous continuity it is physiological functionally they are continuous okay so this is one of the important thing here another thing is now we discuss about structure of this neuromuscular junction which is also known as physiological anatomy so always before hmm, uh ma'am i will complete this lecture from recorded like yesterday okay uh, but try to finish it before you come for tomorrow's class okay give me promise yuvraj then only you can leave okay watch it and complete it hmm? okay now so uh now we discuss about physiological anatomy so in physiological anatomy you can see here this is presynaptic terminal before the synapse this is your neuron so this is your presynaptic terminal this is the terminal branch of yes i will answer i will answer in comment box yuvraj don't worry hmm okay hmm okay so this is presynaptic terminal each terminal branch of nerve fiber this is the branch of nerve fiber here okay hmm? this is 
nothing but this your motor neuron here now this is myelinated you can see here and once it reaches to neuromuscular junction before that it loses its myelin sheath you can see here now okay so while approaching the muscle axon loses its myelin sheath and it is divided into small terminal terminals that is known as axon terminals okay also it is also known as terminal buttons or end feet you can see here this is one terminal button you can see here this one okay <coughs> now this terminal part of the axis cylinder that is like a bulb which is known as terminal button you can see here that is in contact with the muscle and this terminal button has you can see here mitochondria and synaptic vesicles okay and synaptic vesicle has neurotransmitter name of the neurotransmitter here that is acetylcholine okay now next is this acetylcholine is synthesized in the mitochondria you can see here mitochondria provides the atp for the synthesis also it requires enzyme acetyl it is uh, acetylcholine synthetase okay or it is also known as choline acetyl transferase okay and synthesized from acetyl coenzyme a plus choline okay they form acetylcholine and that is stored in the synaptic vesicles okay now so again whatever we have discussed that is one is presynaptic membrane presynaptic membrane is the membrane of nerve ending this one postsynaptic membrane membrane of the muscle fiber here this one and in between there is a gap which is known as synaptic cleft it is the space between presynaptic and postsynaptic membrane and this is about 40 to 100 nanometer wide and it has you can see here extracellular fluid in here ECF okay now next is synaptic trough or synaptic gutter this is this one is synaptic trough this is this one so the membrane of the muscle fiber which is below this motor and plate that is known as synaptic trough or synaptic gutter this is thickened and that is invaginate inside the muscle fiber and it forms a depression so it is known as synaptic trough or synaptic gutter okay another important thing is it has nicotinic receptors okay why nicotinic receptor because it can be stimulated by the drug nicotine okay now this muscle fiber this this synaptic trough has a uh, connective tissue and this connective tissue is known as basal lamina and this basal sorry basement membrane this is having or basal lamina this is having collagen glycoprotein and extracellular matrix protein as well as this basal lamina important thing here is it contains acetylcholine esterase what is the role of this acetylcholine esterase it degrades acetylcholine acetylcholine is destroyed after its function is over okay so this is about synaptic trough next is your post synaptic membrane this one this is post synaptic membrane okay this is made up of muscle fiber this muscle fiber gets depressed and it forms a groove and that is known as uh, your so your synaptic this is known as synaptic gutter or synaptic trough okay this forms fold these folds are known as subneural folds and these folds they increase surface area of this post synaptic membrane these are known as subneural folds or they are also known as you can see palisades okay and as i told you they have nicotinic type of acetylcholine receptors okay now these receptors why are they known as nicotinic type of receptors as i told you they are stimulated by nicotine as well as acetylcholine and they are blocked by the drug curare try to remember if you can okay now number of acetylcholine receptors hmm, they are about 15 to try to remember this value 15 to 40 millions 
end plate this is motor end plate one end plate is having 15 to 40 million receptors now what is the structure of acetylcholine receptor this is a protein receptor you can see this one molecular weight 2 lakh 75000 these are like ligand gated channels hmm? acetylcholine is a ligand when it binds with this receptor it increases opening of the channel and sodium ions they enter inside okay when two molecules of acetylcholine binds this channel gets open these are the channel for sodium potassium and chloride but mainly sodium ions enter only why because of the potential difference sodium is extracellular cation so sodium enters and potassium is intracellular so potassium will not enter okay as well as electronic gradient is also there negativity inside so it favors the entry of sodium ions okay so there is influx of sodium ions now now we discuss about how this neuromuscular junction has transmission or mechanism of neuromuscular transmission so there are different events six events are there when impulse passes from nerve to the muscle so one that is arrival of action potential Second, acetylcholine is released. Third, action of action of uh, action of acetylcholine that it binds. Fourth, end plate potential. Fifth, miniature end plate potential. And last one, uh, sorry, last one is action potential. Here, one thing is left, and last that is fate of acetylcholine. We will discuss one by one. First is arrival of action potential. I think all of you are knowing. Action potential means change in the membrane potential, change in the resting membrane potential. That is action potential. So here, what happens? This action potential arrives at this nerve ending. This I think all of you are knowing. This is your action potential like this. Hmm? Depolarization, repolarization, hyperpolarization. This is the thing. Okay. Now, so... What happens because when action potential arrives here, it causes opening of your calcium channels. Okay. So what happens? Calcium ions they enter inside the nerve ending because extracellular fluid contains large amount of calcium channel. These calcium channels are voltage gated channel. Hmm? Because whenever there is change in the voltage, these channels they open. Okay. So that is first action. Second thing now when this action potential reaches here and when calcium ion concentration increases inside the terminal what happens there is movement of microtubules and microfilaments and this microtubules and microfilaments they cause migration of synaptic vesicles you can see here okay now this synaptic vesicles they fuse with the membrane of this presynaptic terminal here you can see okay now this is and that causes exocytosis exocytosis means extrusion of the content outside and this exocytosis is known as calcium dependent exocytosis because it requires calcium okay and this is because of the reaction between synaptobrevin and syntaxin synaptobrevin that is a vesicular membrane protein on this vesicle there is a membrane protein that is synaptoprevin and syntaxin that is present on the terminal here in between there is reaction that results in breakdown of the vesicle and release of neurotransmitter okay now so first it fuses then there is exocytosis now so you can see huh here important thing is Mm, there is release of at a time there is release of about 60 to 200 vesicles from different parts of presynaptic membrane and each vesicle is having 4000 to about to 10000 acetylcholine molecules so this each vesicle is known as quanta quanta means they have particular quantity of acetylcholine and this quanta is 10 raised to 4. You can say this is 10,000. Okay. This is quantal release. This acetylcholine, once it's released, it diffuses across the synaptic cleft. And now this acetylcholine, this binds with the receptors here. These receptors are nothing but ligand gated channels, which are, which are present on the postsynaptic membrane. 
So once it binds with this postsynaptic membrane, two molecules of acetylcholine when they bind with two alpha subunits, as I told you, two alpha, beta, gamma, and delta subunits are there. Okay, so when it binds here, that results in conformational change in this channel and there is entry of sodium ions. Okay, so this is second event, release of acetylcholine. Third, as I told you, action of acetylcholine, as we have already discussed, there is opening of the ligand gated channels which are present on the postsynaptic membrane and then there is entry of sodium ions. Okay, negative ions can also enter, but why negative ions cannot enter? Because these channels are negatively charged. So they repel negatively charged ions. Okay. Now, another thing here is due to influx of sodium ions. Now what happens here? Sodium ions, they enter. So what happens to this membrane potential? Initially, the resting membrane potential is negative. Because of entry of positive ion, now here it becomes positive. Okay. Now, so initially, very important thing here is there is end plate potential. Nicotinic, uh -huh. nicotinic acetylcholine receptors are inotropic. So on activation, they will directly cause Aditya. Uh, so on activation, they will directly cause the activation of voltage gated sodium channels. They are not inotropic, sorry. Uh, nicotinic receptors, they are ligand gated receptors. Inotropic word is different. Aditya, oh, I think I don't know. Inotropic is not here. This is a ligand gated receptor. Am I clear? Metabotrophic. Muscarinic receptors are metabotrophic. While the muscarinic receptors are. Okay. Okay. Inotropic word is concerned with force of contraction. Okay. Inotropic here. If you find the word inotropic so here it is this is a ligand gated receptors okay am i clear now so now let us discuss our potential changes as i told you end plate potential and action potential we will discuss first now which are these potentials important thing now is coming these three terminologies are very confusing miniature end plate potential end plate potential and giant end plate potential what are these three now so you can see here in this diagram i have tried to show you show you that miniature this is end plate and this is action potential i'll explain you now so what happens at rest also when there is no stimulation at rest also you can see there is small quanta. Quanta, as I told you, one vesicle is having quantity of acetylcholine 10 raised to 4. So 10 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 6 molecules, less than 10 raised to 6 molecules of acetylcholine are released in resting condition when there is no action potential. Okay. Why is it so? Because of Brownian movement of exoplasm. Exoplasm moves here. So because of the movement of exoplasm, what happens? There is release of small amount of acetylcholine now what happens when small amount of acetylcholine is released now your resting potential re rises slightly the rise is only 0.5 millivolt normal resting membrane potential of nerve terminal that is minus 70 millivolt resting membrane potential i am talking about and muscle is minus 90 millivolt okay now so here it rises only 0.5 millivolt and this is known as miniature end plate potential okay now what happens when when uh, more and more quantity quanta of acetylcholine is released so this miniature potentials they get added up you can see here more and more miniature plus 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 so then that results in end plate potential okay so this is your end plate potential Okay. Here what happens, the resting potential in miniature, it rises up to 0.5 millivolt only. In end plate potential, it may increase 10 to 15 millivolt. But this is also not sufficient to generate action potential or giant end plate potential. When this end plate potential it rises up to you can see from minus 90 millivolt to minus 60 millivolt minus 60 is the threshold 
this is the threshold okay so when it reaches to threshold value or you can say this rises 30 millivolt from minus 90 plus 30 means you can see minus 60 so when it reaches to minus 60 millivolt then only there is action potential you can see here so this is your action potential when continuously more and more quantity of acetylcholine is released then there is generation of action potential okay am i clear if any doubt this action potential has a property of propagation propagation means it passes through the membrane you can see here now depolarization to all this muscle membrane it enters inside the tubule also okay so this propagated action potential develops it travels across the muscle membrane and when it reaches to muscle it results in the muscle contraction okay so you can see here this event they occur at the neuromuscular junction so whatever action potential is here now it reaches to the muscle this is your neuromuscular transmission okay now so again let us revise the same thing here i'll explain you this you can see here first you can see action potential here at nerve fiber then calcium channels they open calcium increases release of acetylcholine now acetylcholine comes in the synaptic cleft it binds with its receptors which are present on the post synaptic membrane you can see here then again you can see initially there is generation of amplitude potential which is followed by generation of action potential okay so this is about the changes occur at neuromuscular junction while transmission okay now as i told you this is same thing here last one last uh, thing about the act that is fat of acetylcholine now after this acetylcholine complete its action at the synaptic cleft what happens it is been destroyed it is destroyed by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase here Hmm. that is present in the basal lamina of the cleft uh, acetylcholine esterase okay now so what is the clinical significance if acetylcholine is not destroyed then what happens then this enzyme that when it is not destroyed by acetylcholine esterase if this enzyme is uh it is not available or not active what happens repeatedly muscle gets contracted so we require to remove this acetylcholine okay so it is removed by this acetylcholine esterase okay now what happens to this destroyed products acetate acetate diffuses to the extracellular fluid and choline is taken back by the presynaptic terminal for synthesis of acetylcholine again okay so this is the fat of acetylcholine now next is as i told you we will discuss about question answers so i am giving all these questions to you let us give answers of all this i think as we have discussed you will be able to answer all these questions now hmm? now let us have a look as we have discussed one that is what is cell tissue and organ cell is the structural and functional unit of the living organism okay tissue that is group of cells having same functions and there are four primary tissues okay third that is organ two or more primary tissues they work together to form organ and system that is group of organs they work together to form system okay so this is about sorry this is about system okay then classification of our muscle we have discussed classification according to striation according to second thing is according to hmm, according to control voluntary or involuntary striated non-striated okay and third that is according to hmm, what is the third function skeletal smooth and cardiac muscle okay now next question is what is neuromuscular junction we have discussed it is also known as myoneural junction it is the junction between nerve fiber and the muscle fiber okay 
junction between motor neuron and the muscle fiber that is neuromuscular junction which neurotransmitter fourth question is released at neuromuscular junction that is your acetylcholine and where is it synthesized it is synthesized in the mitochondria which is present at the axonal terminals okay then how much is the width of synaptic cleft width of synaptic cleft that is your 40 to 100 nanometer okay what is the name of the receptor present at the neuromuscular junction the receptor present at the neuromuscular junction they are known as nicotinic receptors why are they known as nicotinic receptors because they are stimulated by nicotine and acetylcholine and inhibited by your curare okay then next is structure of acetylcholine protein as i told you that is a Protein complex, molecular weight 2 lakh 75,000 gated ion channels, ligand gated channels. Okay. It has two alpha, beta, delta and gamma subunits. Okay. What is miniature end plate potential? As also we have discussed miniature end plate potential. That is when at rest small quanta of acetylcholine is released less than 10 raised to 6 molecule. Then what happens? There is... Why, why are they released? Because of random movement. Okay. Uh, Brownian movement of the exoplasm. And when they are released here. Because of this Brownian movement of exoplasm. So what happens? There is change in the membrane potential. Slight change in the membrane potential. Only 0.5 millivolt. And that is known as miniature end plate potential. Next is what is end plate potential? When... More and more quantity of acetylcholine is getting released. Then this potential rises to 10 to 15 millivolt. That is end plate potential. And when it rises to about 30 millivolt from resting state, then it results in generation of action potential. Okay. What is fat of acetylcholine also we have discussed. That is after acetylcholine completes its action, it is degraded by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase which is present in the synaptic cleft. Okay. And it is converted into hmm, choline plus acetate. This acetate is transferred to the extracellular fluid and choline is taken back by the presynaptic terminus. Okay. So this is about today's questions. Small questions, I think it covers the whole topic. Short note from today's topic that is asked, that is neuromuscular junction. Short question, Muscul muscular junction and other that is neuromuscular transmission. Okay, so please uh, prepare these topics too. Okay. This improves your performance in exams. Okay. Thank you. If you like my class, you can like, you can share with all your friends and you can subscribe our channel on academyfuture.com.